Hello, it's Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm. This is P. Grow Day 7. Seven days for growing peas. So let's see what we got here. Let's do the great reveal, the unmasking. Woo! Look at these puppies. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh yeah, they're looking mighty nice. You see how much they're growing up here? Now if I expose these to light right now, the, their growth would be stunted quite a bit. But guess what? They're growing real nice. Seven days. They're going to be under uh, this cover for maybe one or maybe two more days. And uh, oh, let's see, this one's got a few little spiky roots in it. This one not so much. So we'll give a little more water to this one today. And we'll see how they are. Anyway, let's have a look at them, just for your edification. Let's come around here and look at this way. You see they're coming up to the top of the tray, and some of them are sticking over just a little bit. You see that? Don't that look nice? They're yellow. Now some people grow entirely in shade, and they sell them as golden pea shoots. That's something of a delicacy, golden pea shoots. Um, now, uh, most people buy them green though, but golden pea shoots have their interest. And if you're going to sell to a restaurant, you may want to ask them, or some of your other customers, they may prefer them that way. But in any event, we're going to give it the old um, paint job here, the whitewash, the Tom Sawyer whitewash, that's what we're going for right now. And we're going to do about 20 seconds on this, and I think, no, 25 seconds here maybe, and 20 over here. I think this needs water more than this one, just from the looks of the piece. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Swansius. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 and Swansius, 5 and Swansius, 4 and Swansius. Man, a little German counting mixed in there. No, I'm not German. Never even been to Germany. Just having a little fun. Let's see here. And. Yes, she's definitely up to my knuckle. Like I said, these look like they need water more than these. I'm going to do these. There's some spiky roots in here. Let's just see how it looks. I'm going to do them 21st and then we will check. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünf. Yeah, I don't know. I may not be saying that right. Hey, I'm not German. Like I said, I ain't been to Germany. Never even took a German class. Mm. Well, it's only up to my fingernail. Only up to my fingernail. There it is. Hmm. Smell good. There's no funny smell about them. Do five more seconds. Three, four, five. Ah, this thing is picking up air. Shouldn't be. Look, see how it's split them just a little bit? I pumped the devil out of it earlier. This is the way we pump water. Pump our water. Pump our water. This is the way we pump our water. So early in the wee hours of the morning. Now you may wonder why I always do this in the wee hours. The reason being, golly gee, actually I actually went to Half Five Christmas party tonight. Um, I do have something of a life, hardly, but I do also, uh, and I'm removing trash like I always do. Um, hey, I have a day job during the week. I work long hours at NASA of all things, and also uh, <laughs> a little smoother. But I might put some more water in here. Um, I also uh, have a greenhouse. 
I've got a warm farm. I gotta fix something to eat when I get home from my late hours. And you know I do. Uh, it's, you know as I eat, I actually watch YouTube videos from other YouTube providers. So you know I've got a busy life, and so uh, bills to pay and other things to do. So this is usually the last thing I do before I start getting ready for bed. I do a final email check or message check, and boom, I go to bed. But see right now it's already uh, like. Um, just give you an example. Now you don't have to do this, but you see, it's 1:41 a.m. Yeah, and I'm gonna get up uh, probably about six in the morning. So yeah, that's gonna be a short night's sleep. But uh, like I said, I have many other projects I'm doing. Any one of these projects will be enough. Uh, you can make a living doing microgreens. You can make a living doing aquaponics. You can make a living doing worm farming and maybe doing all of them is a little crazy maybe I'm not as focused as I should be but this is how I entertain myself and hopefully I'll keep you entertained by this too so ladies and gentlemen if uh, I'm gonna do many more videos growing these out and growing up many other microgreens so if uh, you want to get the updates be sure first to subscribe to my channel don't forget to bang the bell for update notifications and you'll see the the grow alongs the everyday grow and you're going to see uh, many other things I grow. You're going to see other lessons. I'm going to get down in the dirt in detail. Now, it ain't a lot of dirt in aquaponics, but in aquaponics and my raised bed gardens and my worm farming and many other things. So uh, that's our uh, grow day number seven for the microgreens, for the pea shoots, that is. And I'm going to cover these guys back up for one or two more days. Technically, if I was really rushed to market, I might couldn't uncover them. Yeah, they're really too short. They'll grow a lot taller if I leave them in here a couple more days.